Not quite sure if we've got something that shouldn't be in there guys, which is doing a hell of a lot of fizzing. G'day guys, some of you may recognise this from a previous video, I'll put a link up here somewhere. Um, it's tin coated copper wire. So what I was going to do was melt it down in my furnace and try and make a copper ingot. But how do you salvage the tin from that process? Do you just like skim it off the top of the liquid? I don't know. So I thought, what about using some chemicals? So I'm going to use some hydrochloric acid and some hydrogen peroxide. Now this is 3%. I've been using this in a couple of experiments I've done recently. It's the strongest I can get here in Australia. I have tried. If anyone knows where I can get any stronger, please drop a comment myself a nice little tub i'm going to put some of that into some of there then some of that into there loosely put a lid on because <laughs> i don't want things landing on it like birds and things trying to drink from it i don't want a lot of dead magpies around and uh yeah see so here we go right let's get some in that'll do us for now it's in Okay, so I've got enough in. Let's pour in some hydrochloric acid. So I'll just pour enough in to cover the wire. It's actually took all I've got. I should get some more. Oh. Not quite sure if we've got something that shouldn't be in there, guys. Which doing a hell of a lot of fizzing. And I'm about to disappear for a minute. Bye. Well, whatever it was, it appears to have settled down. So I've done it outside guys, these fumes are dodgy as. I don't recommend you doing this, this is just my idle curiosity. Let's add some of this and stand well back. Uh -oh. By all accounts now guys, this liquid is going to get very orangey and very smelly, and very dangerous. So here we go. Here we go, it's turned a weird brown colour. Okay, look at that, this is reacting quicker than I thought. I don't know if you can quite see it. It's already taking the tin off. Nice copper underneath. Very nice, right, I've got a nip out. I won't get some more um, ingredients. <laughs> I'll leave that stew in here, I'll put a lid on. I won't seal it, I'll just put it on so nothing goes inside it. And uh, get back to you in a bit, guys. A few moments later. Okay guys, so I've just got back, been out longer than I thought, so I don't know what's going on in here. Um, ooh. Yeah. Okay, well we can safely say it's took the tin off. Oh yes. But, while I was out, I thought I'd buy some more hydrochloric. Anyway, I went and got 5 litres. This cost me $22.50 to do the rest of the batch. And with that being said, I won't be doing the rest of the wire. Well, it's interesting to see. What a scrap man will make of this now. Is this still number two wire? Certainly a difference in colour now, guys. So, the question is, have I just turned this into number one? I very much doubt it. <laughs> I'll see what my scrap man makes of it and uh, take it from there but due to costs I don't think I'll be uh, pursuing all of this tin coated copper with some hydrochloric it's just too expensive in chemicals okay guys it was just a quick one more of an experiment to see what hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide would do to tin coated copper wires if it was going to be work out cheap enough I'd have done all this and salvaged the tin obviously there's still some tin in there but it's like i say it's just not financially viable anyway thanks for watching guys like comment share subscribe all that jazz catch you on the next one